this is a public call out to Discord. Discord. Your support services suck ass. Now, granted, I was the one that fell for a link that could have been totally believable. Because my friend that sent me the link, my friend that sent me the link, is a game developer. So when he goes, hey, and I've reviewed games for him in the past. So when he goes, or when I get a message from his account that reads, hey, you got a few minutes? I want to show you something I've been working on. Knowing that this developer has had articles go live on Kotaku and a couple of other services, a couple of other articles developed, written about this game that this mod that he's working on. I said, sure, I'd be happy to help you. I've helped you in the past. No problem. I downloaded the file and I was like, okay, it's an executable. Let's scan. Let's see what he's working on. I ran a scan on the file, came back from Norton. No viruses found, nothing found, should be good. And I didn't think twice about it because the developer is very, you know, he's good. He's trustworthy. I've worked with him before. I've, I've, I've reviewed his work before. He sent me files before. No problem. Well, uh, yeah, apparently... This little slip up of mine was enough to destroy my Discord. Let me explain. As soon as I ran the file, Discord crashed and I went, that's weird. I didn't really think anything of it. Discord fucking sucks. So the file ran, nothing happened. I got a JavaScript error and that's when I went, oh no, there might be a problem because yeah, I can't log into my Discord anymore. Actually, that's not true. I was able to log into my Discord from a different device, and I tried to change the password, but it's too late. It was too late. They got all my information, whatever. I went into full lockdown mode. I scrubbed my computer to the best of my ability. I checked all of my other accounts. I changed passwords for everything. I checked my, my browsers for any extensions that showed up that I did not put on. Um, and currently, and they started charging a bunch of like Discord gifts to my PayPal, which is linked to my Discord account. I moved all of the money out of my account. All of the money in my bank account gone into a completely separate account. The guy got into my Discord account. I went to use my 2FA to reset my password. Nope, he changed my 2FA as well. My 2FA no longer works. The backup code list that I have no longer works because the hacker changed that too. I went onto Discord's website to see if I could find a phone number that I could call for support with my account. Nope, they have no phone number. Fair, I understand. Uh, let's check out, let's see if they have a live text chat or a live chat service of some kind because they are after all a chat application. No. They do have an email listed, support at discordwhatever.com. So I sent an email. I said, this is what happened. This is my user ID. This is my Discord name, the number, all of that good stuff. The email that I got back from Discord support, very quickly, I might add, I will say that their automated response system, flawless, because their automated response system says that they no longer support email support they do not look at that email address so why the fuck it's still on their website is beyond me now i know it seems like i might be a little angry i'm just gonna roll with it i promise i'm not taking out on anyone least of all the person whose account originally got hacked and sent me the file i found another link i found another a support uh, a support link on their website where i could submit a ticket I work with tickets day in and day out. I know how this is going to go. I submit a ticket for a hacked account. I explained everything that happened, everything that went down, and I got an email back. I, I, looking back on it now, it's their automated system again. But their solution, their resolution to a hacked account issue is to log into the account and change the password. If my account is hacked, and I have no access to it, 
how am I going to log in and change the password? So I responded to this email and said, no, I cannot log in. I cannot use my backup codes. I cannot use my 2FA. They are in my account. Well, Heather, I fucking love her for this. Heather went into full lockdown mode. She notified, I posted to Twitter, Heather notified all of our friends. Heather is getting people up in arms, letting them know, hey, my Discord got hacked. Don't touch anything from it. Don't click any links. And this hacker is, sure enough, using my friends list to try to spread their little virus or their little exploit or whatever it is. I don't care. Um, what I do care about is how a lot of you guys have been handling it. And I wanted to come on and say thank you. Uh, Heather has been telling me some of the interesting conversations that you guys have been having with this particular hacker. Um, funny. Uh, what's not funny is the hacker has turned to my Discord and is now banning everybody from my Discord. That hurts. That's a lot of damage done that I'm going to have to work on. But even bigger, even more concerning, is not my Discord. The problem I'm having right now is not my Discord. I could care less about my Discord server. I can rebuild it. It would be frustrating. It would be a kick in the dick to have to, but I can rebuild. What I cannot undo and I have no control of is all of the other servers that I moderate for. So I can only imagine what type of damage is being done to that Discord server as well as other ones that I moderate in. And Discord support is so unhelpful they are so... The... Why the fuck is there not a phone number, Discord? Why do you not have a, 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 a help desk? If you're going to have an email support address that you're not even going to bother to check, don't list it. Why is getting in touch with Discord so fucking complicated? Guys, I don't know if you remember a few weeks ago... But another beloved creator in our community, Squiggly Swiggly, also had an issue with Discord where they accidentally signed out of the Discord and all of their information was nowhere in sight. Nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. She could not get in because 2FA had uninstalled itself on her phone or something happened to her 2FA account um, where she couldn't get in. And Discord support when she finally got through to someone again said there's nothing they can do how on earth do you have a service with a help desk that has no access into anything how on earth i don't understand i really do not how how are you just going to let this happen? How does Discord... I'm not the only person this has happened to. I can't be, obviously, because the, the person who sent me the game dev whose account got hacked and I got the file from in the first place had to, de had to request that their entire account get deleted. They deleted their Discord server and their Discord account to create a brand new one because Discord themselves cannot help you get back into your account if something like this happens. Why on earth a, a hacked account ticket is responded to automatically with the solution, log into Discord and change your password is beyond me. Discord, let me ask you something. When you were first developed back in, what was it guys, 2015, 2016? Why did your app develop and grow and become this huge worldwide used application but your support features didn't discord i know i'm not exactly singing your praises right now but you really need to work on your support structure support where's the money in support i mean that's that's got to be a cost that discord has to deal with I understand it's a free-to-use system, but the number of people that have Discord Nitro, 
you can absolutely set up a support channel instead of it just being somebody on the dev team that happens to check their email once every hour. I guarantee you, I'm not going to hear anything back about my account, at least for a couple days. To my community and those of you watching wondering why the big dog is so upset, do not click on links from anyone and anyone without first verifying that the person who appears to be sending it to you is the person sending it to you. It did not occur to me at that moment that I should call the developer and ask them if they were actually sending me something. My desire to help people in their creative endeavors has caused me just so much headache, so much frustration. I literally told Heather, hey, I know I'm cleaning the kitchen, but this dev wants me to take a couple minutes and review this real quick and just like take a look and see what they, what they were working on. Again, could have been a completely legitimate request. And she was like, oh, him? Yeah, no, no problem. I, this was two hours ago, about maybe hour and a half. I'm, I'm sorry that you guys are getting involved in this. And I, I really sincerely hope that nobody is clicking the link off of my account, but I think legitimately think I need to see. Oh, wait, we got an email. My account got disabled for a violation of TOS and community guidelines. My dis... Cool. Here's the thing. If I try to make a new account now, doesn't that look like a ban evasion? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I, I don't normally do this. I'm going to pull up. Let me let me switch to studio mode here so that I can mitigate what you're going to see as far as my email. But I'm going to let me show you the email. I want you guys to see that I am not making this shit up right now. Give me a second. Here we go. Are you ready? Let me transition here. <laughs> Discord is focused on maintaining a safe and secure environment for our community. We've found your account to be in violation of our terms of service or community guidelines. As a result, we've disabled your account for the following reason. Our records indicate that there are one or more chargebacks associated with purchases made on your account. Wow, it's almost like I'm disputing charges that uh, the hacker is currently uh, doing on my Discord. If you believe the charback chargebacks were made, made in error, please contact your payment provider to withdraw these disputes. For further information or to appeal, you can contact our trust and safety team at blank and select appeal and action. Trust. Yeah, I'm going to appeal this action. And my reasoning is going to be because my account got hacked and I've been trying to reach someone at Discord for almost two hours. Listen, the fact that I'm able to have my account disabled because of chargebacks is wild to me. Forget the fact that I'm spam messaging everyone. I'm doing, I, I am like, y'all. Uh, I was half expecting to, I didn't read the email before I posted it up. I'm reading this now for the first time with you guys. I was half expecting them to be like, you use hate speech. You drop the N-word one too many times. For context, I don't use the N-word. But the person that hacked my account already told my wife to kill herself. So I wouldn't be surprised at this point. The only reason why Discord took any action on my account is not to help me get back in it but I charged back too much. I charged back too much money and that's against their TOS. So thank Christ that the world is safe. The world is now safe from the horrible, horrible action of charging back hacked, illegal, illegitimate Nitro gift purchases. Thank you. Guys, can I get a round of applause? Hold on a second. Let me find, let me, let me do this. Round of applause. Here we go. Uh, no, that's a song. I didn't realize there was a song. Let me get a sound effect here. Round of applause. Everyone join me, please. 
This is for Discord. This is for Discord. Woo! You did it! When if I appeal this to Discord, when when am I gonna hear back about this? When? Listen, I am so thankful that my livelihood does not depend on my Discord account being active. But I'm not the only person going through something like this. How many people use Discords? There's something like 400 active accounts or whatever. 400 million. What the fuck, Discord? But yeah. No love for hackers. No love for people that go out of their way to make other people miserable. Oh, I left out a big part of the story. I left out a huge part of the story. Okay, rewind a little bit. You guys, you see how red I am? I'm so fucking angry and I'm trying my best to keep my composure. On Twitter, you guys remember, if, if you saw it, I posted a Twitter in all caps to not click anything from me. I was hacked, right? Before I made that tweet, follow me, Fluffle Husky. Before I made that tweet and after I got hacked. So timeline, here we are. I clicked the thing, account got hacked. I can't get into it, panic mode. I got a new follower on Twitter. I forgot their name. I'm pretty sure their account's already been disabled. I got a, I got a follow after I got hacked, but before I tweeted from somebody named Explora Hacks. What are the chances a brand new Twitter account followed me on Twitter after my shit got hacked, but before I mentioned it anywhere on the internet. Hmm, that's weird. So naturally I post the link, I, or I post the, uh, the tweet that I got hacked, and who's the first person, who's the first person to get into my DMs telling me that they can help me get my account back if all I have to do is follow their instructions? Aw. Mason, if that's even your real fucking name, wherever you are, I hope that life gives you nothing but the very worst. I hope that you build up so much negative karma that one day you wake up only to find that you're paralyzed from the, the neck down. Fuck it. I don't wish bad on people. I don't, let me rephrase. I don't wish bad on people that don't deserve it. Sure, my Discord account getting hacked and only my Discord account getting hacked is the very least, uh, it's, it's, it's very small in the grand scheme of what you could have done to me or what you could have done to others, what you could have done to Bill. But at the end of the day, you're causing a lot of stress. You are causing a lot of frustration. You absolutely got a rise out of me. And I know that that's what people like you look for. Well, you also look to scam people out of their money, which is where I'm very certain that uh, your little scam your little message on twitter was headed you could have done so much and ruined my livelihood for the time being i'm very fortunate that your wave of chaos has come to an end but yes like heather says i hope you stub your toe on everything you walk past a lot of my well wishes uh became very unwell very quickly and i don't want to put too much negative energy out into the world because i believe that energy i put out will come back to me i'm already probably due for a pretty massive migraine tomorrow based solely on the fact that i wished for your paralysis from the neck down i hope what you do gets out and the people that love you look at you funny for the rest of your life i remember how i said i was done i lied i'm petty and i'm angry i hope that you have the day that you deserve and that is where I will end my unwell wishes to you. Just because I have a line that I'll, I'll stop at doesn't mean that the people that back me up, my friends, the people close to me, won't also come in swinging. Uh, I hope that when you tie your shoes, one of them is always just a little too tight and you can never get them even. Uh, I love these hezzy keep them coming. I hope his dishwasher always <laughs> misses cleaning his favorite bowl. I hope the hacker has constant nasal drip. I, I, I'm... I was on the edge of whether or not I was going to post this to YouTube. I think the answer to that is yes, because these are fucking fantastic. Um, I hope that you always find glitter on your clothes. Never ending hiccups. Your chat fights for you, Husky. Water down pop for eternity. <laughs>
crisis semi averted i'm thinking i'm gonna have to make a new discord account which sucks but it is what it is discord your support system sucks ass it will never amount to anything at the state that it's currently in i believe we I, we met we met discord reps at pax east i know that you guys are capable of unfucking your support system and if that means you have to reallocate money to pay someone to be on a phone, then so be it. There's absolutely no reason why my best case scenario right now should have been that I got banned from chargebacks. That's the thought. That's the end of the thought. Oh my God. There has been a new development in this whole Discord situation that only those of you on YouTube and wherever I share this clip are going to be notified of. I just got an email response back from Discord uh, after I disputed my ban and explained what the problem was. Their automated system, I'm guessing it's their automated system, I have a hard time believing that somebody read the ticket and sent this manually, though it did take quite a long time, so that's probably what happened. I'm going to put it up on the screen, but here we go. Hello, your account was banned because our records indicate that one or more chargebacks have been issued through your ac account associated with your email. Yeah, I disputed all of the illegitimate Discord Nitro gifts that I did not authorize. So yes, I did dispute those. But hold on, guys, because this is where it gets fun. In order to regain access to your account... The card owner will need to contact the payment provider associated with these charges and withdraw all open disputes within 14 days from date of the suspension. Discord is telling me to not dispute the charges and to let them all go through, and they're holding my account hostage. When I submitted my appeal for the account ban, I included the original ticket number that was given to me when I put in the, the notice that my account got hacked. I included all of the details from that hacked account ticket in this ticket to let them know, hey, my account was hacked and a bunch of illegitimate fraudulent charges were made on my account. Discord is saying, hey, if I want access back to my account, I have to let those go through. I have such a hard time believing that this was sent to me by a human being. This has to have been, no human being is going to sit there and read a ticket and send this as their response if someone is actually sitting there and reading the tickets. There's no way on earth somebody manually read, if, if this was an automated response, I would have gotten this immediately. No? Is that like, that had to have been it. Somebody had to have sat there, glazed over my ticket, said, fuck it, I don't care, and sent this back. Telling me that I have to... Oh, wait, I never... Sorry, I didn't finish reading the email. Once the disputes have been withdrawn, please provide explicit confirmation by attaching a statement or letter from your pay payment provider indicating that all dis disputes have been retracted. Discord. I hope... I got freaking sauce in my... What is that sauce? I got pizza sauce in my face, and I'm here bitching about Discord. <laughs> Classy. I am so beyond floored right now at how bad Discord's support is. I know this whole video has been 20 plus minutes of me bitching about it right now, but I hope this video makes it to someone else's eyes. I hope somebody with more influence on the internet than me sees this at some point and understands why I might be a little pissed off. At this point, I'm just going to assume I'm never going to get my Discord account back, and I'm just going to make a new one. I mean... <laughs> I don't even know what to say at this point anymore. I'm literally in the middle of editing this to put this video on my YouTube, and this this just happened. That That's it. That's the update. They want me to... They want me to not... They want me to not charge back all the fraudulent chargebacks so that I can get back into my Discord account. I'm not just I'm not just bitching, right? Like I'm not just bitching for no reason. There's got to be at least one other person out there that understands, right? <laughs> uh, 
I don't know what else to say at this point. 